new topic, new ish topic. Um, you guys know how much I love words, and how much I think everyone should love words, and how much when you understand words, you understand things better. Rather than thinking, oh, this is a new thing, it's called this, who knows why it's called that, okay? So, before I give you this heading, I'm going to give you a series of words, I've got one, two, three, that you know the meanings of, but will shed light on what we're about to do. Okay, so, first word. If I say things have a connection, right, a connection, what does that mean? Uh, if things are connected together, yeah, Rachel? They're like joined together. They join together, very good. They are not separate, but they are, they're going to be joined in some way. Okay, perfect, right? Uh, if I say, rather than things which have a connection, if I say a group of people have a consensus, right? Can you come to a consensus? What would that be, Nathan? Is it you agree on the same thing? Yeah, that's right, that's right. Um, you agree on the same things, you have a similar kind of opinion, right? I would say, a way of saying that is, you're thinking together. You're not thinking in ways that like disagree and are apart. You're thinking together on the same kind of, same kind of wavelength, if you like. I'm on the same page, right? Connection, consensus, what's my third one? Oh, that's right. Uh, if you have a conference of people, right, a conference, the whole idea is not joining together, not thinking together, but... Meeting, yeah, I'd say you maybe, maybe meet or, or to contribute together, but the whole point is that um, you've got the people and they're, you know, they're going to have a, a common space, might not be electronic, but, you know, they're meeting together in some kind of way. So therefore, seeing these words and what they mean, here comes our heading, but I'm going to write down here first. What does it mean to say things are congruent? Right? To say things are congruent. Now, just before we, we jump in with our mathematical special definition, right? You can see we have this same prefix happening again and again and again. And you can see what it means every single time. So what might you say congruent actually means? Yeah, what do you reckon? Uh, two shapes together. Okay, so in mathematics, we're going to talk about shapes. And I've got a whole bunch of shapes with me. And you're going to draw a bunch, okay? Um, but just in general, in general, let me give you a bit of a hand, right? Um, we have another word that goes with this, almost identical, right? Doesn't get used all that often, but I think most of you know what it means, which is a congregation, Whoa. right? Or the verb would be to congregate, right? Separate. What does um, what does that mean? Yeah, Tenda, you've had your hand up. It's okay. It's like it's in the same in the same what? Same what? I'm gonna try and use this word together, right? This idea of uh, in fact, I can sort of like gather these together. Congruent, like the proper actual meaning, is to, strangely enough, to fall together. You're like, fall? Fall? Well, let me try and illustrate. Okay. So if I take now, mathematically, let's think of like a shape. Okay. So if I have a shape, right? <laughs> some egotistical people in the room, that's okay, right? And if I have another shape that is congruent to that, what that means is they could fall together on the same spot, right? And there would literally be one on top of the other, right? If you like, think of it like, you know how they say um, square peg in a round hole? It's like, well, here's an R peg in an R, like uh, it's on exactly the same spot. They could fall down and sit one on top of another, okay? That's actually what's going on here. Now, when we talk in mathematics, we mean a little more specifically, here was Nathan's idea, right? In order for two shapes, two figures to fall together, what we mean is they have to be the same size and we have to be the same shape, right? So for instance, if this red letter R was smaller or bigger, it wouldn't be able to exactly fall on top of the other one, right? Or if I like sliced off a bit, maybe took, took off this bottom part, it also still wouldn't fall together. I need both of these things in order for that to be true, okay? So, our heading is congruence. <coughs> this idea of when we have figures and 
they're really identical. They're so identical that they could fall one top of each other and they would be exactly the same. Okay. Uh, by the way, when you have a congregation, right, it's when you've got a group of people and they come together, falling together in exactly the same place, just like these shapes do. Now, mathematically, we can push on this idea of what does it mean for something to be the same size and to be the same shape, okay? I would say what it means for this, like what makes it the same is, I'm going to go even further down again, there are two particular kinds of properties that I'm looking to be identical, okay? I want the corresponding sides to be equal or identical. Right? So for instance, I've got this vertical side over here, right? this one over here, and I want it to be exactly the same length as this one. If it's off, even by a millimeter, they won't be the same shape, okay? or the same size. But I don't just want the corresponding sides, those lengths, to be equal. There's another feature. I don't want to suggest another feature that I want to be equal as well. Ethan? Um, volume and like Okay, so I could talk about um, like different ways of measuring. So if these things, I put them on a scale, I want them to be the same weight. Uh, if they had volume, if they were like, uh, I mean, these are flat, but if it was like a box or something, I want to be able to pour the same amount in there. But, but, for instance, I happen to know that this box I have here has roughly the same volume as the, um, the milk bottles I have at home. Roughly the same volume. Okay? Now, if it were exactly the same, you still want to say that this box is congruent to my milk bottles at home, unless you have really weird shaped milk <laughs> bottles at home. What? Why is that a problem? Yeah. Uh, let's say like, you can have ah, okay. So what I want is not just the sides or the volume, but that other feature I want is the angles. So this is talking about polygons. Whoops which can have all the same sides, but we also want the angles connecting the sides to also be the same. So for instance, having a look at these shapes up here, right? Can you see, you've got an angle right here in the bottom right hand corner. You see that, right? If I put a protractor to both of those, I'd like to measure them and they would be the same, okay? It's no problem if this angle over here is different to this angle, because those two don't correspond. Do you see that? But I want, this angle here to be the same as that one. I would want this angle to be the same as this one because they correspond to each other. Uh, when I put them uh, so they fall together, those sit one on top of each other. That's what we mean by corresponding. 